subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, everybody! Whoa, that's a cool boat. But there are no sails on it. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Chalky. Now we have one, two, two sails on the boat. And that's a lovely picture of an apple tree, Tim and Calc. Thanks, Paula. Oh, no. Wow, look, Paula. Part of the water turned green. Ah, that's color mixing, Billy. When you mix blue with yellow, you'll get green. Really? Let me try. Cool, it turned green. We can use this green to paint the leaves on our tree, Calc. Hey, what's that? <gasps> it's a note. What does it say, Paula? It's from Mr. Candy Cane Man. He needs help with candy coloring. Hmm, Mr. Candy Cane Man makes excellent candies. I wonder what could be wrong. We'll find out soon. Let's go to Candyland. <laughs> Mr. Candy Cane Man. Hello, children. Thank you for coming. So you received my message? Yes, Mr. Candy Cane Man. What's the matter? Choco and Sweet's birthdays are coming soon. So I've asked Mr. Baker to bake two chocolate cakes for them. That's awesome. But what's the problem then? Mr. Baker needs six different colored candies to decorate the cakes with. But I only have one, two, three colors. Let's see. We have three colors. Red, yellow, and blue. And we need six colors in total. Maybe we can use the color mixing we learned in the playroom. If we mix blue and yellow, we get green. Right, Paula? That's a great idea, Billy. Mr. Candy Cane Man, can you mix blue and yellow? That way you'll get green candies. Ah, brilliant idea, children. Let me see. It's working! Now we have one, two, three, four colored candies. Let's try mixing more. Can we try mixing red and blue, Mr. Candy Cane Man? Sure. Look, red and blue gives us purple. Now we have five colors. Let's try mixing red and yellow instead. Red and yellow gives us orange candies. This is perfect. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six different colored candies. Mr. Oh, hello, children. Wow, there are one, two, two amazing looking chocolate cakes. Oh, thank you. I'm about to put the icing on the cakes. Just like you ordered, Mr. Candy Cane Man. A blue and a red cake. Oh, my. I ordered a dark blue and a pink cake. These colors are light blue and red. Oh, dear. You are right. I can't believe I got the colors wrong. The blue is too light and the red is too dark. Don't worry, Mr. Baker. I'm sure we can do something about the colors. Yeah. Can we mix the colors with something else? Maybe we'd be able to get dark blue and pink somehow. But if we mix it with another color, we'll get a different color. We just need to make the blue icing darker and the red icing lighter. Step one. To make a color lighter, add a bit of white. I have some melted white chocolate here. This should do the trick. Awesome! Now for step two. To make a color darker, add a bit of black. Hmm. Aha! 
This bottle of black seed extract should do the trick. And here we go. And lastly, step three, mix the colors well. Please, go right ahead. It's working. The red is turning lighter. It turned pink. And the light blue is turning into dark blue. Amazing. Great. Now let's put the icing on the cakes. Wonderful. One pink cake and one dark blue cake. Decorated with different colored candies you prepared. It looks perfect, Mr. Baker. Choco and sweets will be delighted. Yay! Yay! We helped Mr. Candy Cane Man and Mr. Baker with color mixing, Paula. That's right, Billy. Which means we have successfully completed our mission. And we did it with your help at home. <laughs> We helped Mr. Candy Cane Man and Mr. Baker with color mixing today. We learned that if you mix white with a color, it becomes lighter. And if we mix black with a color, it turns darker. We learned that red and yellow gives us orange, and that red and blue gives us purple. Yeah, and if we mix all those colors, we get this color. Oh, Tim, you turned all the paint dark brown. <laughs> it's okay. We can use it to paint our tree. <laughs> Do join us on our next adventure. Click subscribe and hit the bell icon.